Uh, this next one, eh? It's a trip, fool. Uh, so this one comes from my tío, fool. Um, he was working construction and he worked on that Vons parking lot over there off of uh, South La Brea. And he thought it was a normal day until... I was helping this vato pour concrete all afternoon. And this vato wanted to work through lunch, but I told him, hey, I don't get paid extra for that, eh? So then this fool said, hey, but I want to finish up this one section, eh? And he wanted to do it by himself. So I said, well, go ahead then, but you're getting paid the same. Uh, so this vato, he started pouring concrete and, you know, doing the finishing himself to make it look nice and flat. And it did look pretty nice. Uh, and he was doing, he was doing a really good job, like to tell you the truth, uh, until, until he got himself stuck in a corner and he was surrounded by wet concrete. So I said, oh, you know, this fool fucked up. Oh shit, can I say fuck? Oh, okay. Yeah, so he fucked up. And I yelled at him, I said, hey, what are you doing? You're fucking up. Um, you know, this shit takes 32 hours to dry. But then as I said that, this vato started to walk towards me and the other guys on the on the on the work job right there. And as God is my witness, homie, uh, he walked across the wet concrete and he did not leave not one footprint. I know you folks are like, no way, how did that happen? But there was other witnesses, homie, you could talk to them. And this vato probably weighed at least 100 to 195 pounds. And on top of that, he was wearing his work boots, eh? And I think they were uh, uh, Red Wings, homie. Um, yeah, so even after that, we didn't see nothing. Not, not even a smudge on the dry concrete. So yeah, I didn't believe my tío at first food Cause you know, sometimes that food just He just straight up lies um, But like one time He said that he had went to high school With Jennifer Lopez food But I looked it up and It wasn't even the real J-Lo food Just another Jennifer Lopez And um, it she had spelled it with the S At the end food And no disrespect um, But she was a like she was of a bigger size food She was a gordita The real one um, went to like an all girls Catholic school, like in on the on the East Coast food, like in the Bronx food. So this food's from the West Coast, so it, it wasn't even possible. So yeah, that food was tripping. Uh, so anyways, food, I had to see the pavement for myself uh, to confirm because that food lies. All right, Junior, you see right here where the pavement meets the sidewalk. All right, well, all right, he walked from there over to the shopping cart. See how they are right there? All right, now look, me, or look close. Now, do you see any footprints? Come on, be honest. You see anything? Nah, so I don't see nothing. Shit. See, I told you. It's a miracle. So I wanted to meet um, this fool Manny to hear what he had to say about it. Fool, he's the fool that walked over the white concrete. Uh, and it's a trip because ever since, uh, ever since then, like people come to him fool, for like blessings or they think he's like some kind of prophet or something. Yeah, it's crazy. All kinds of people will be in my driveway singing and wanting to touch me. All of these religious people make the pilgrimage to like visit me and ask me to bless them. At first I was like, nah, leave me alone. But then some come from far away. So I said, alright, whatever then. Dang, just like Juana Valdez, who? who came all the way from El Paso, Texas, just to see this food. It's a miracle. We believe that it's a sign that the Savior will come back to lead us to heaven. Ay. Dang, trip out. Now the Book of John, also known as the Book of Signs, references seven miracles. Turning water into wine, Jesus walking on water, and the healing of a blind man, to name a few. On that fateful day, when Manny walked on the wet pavement, many believe this is the eighth miracle. Well, um, hey Manny, like how can you explain the no footprints, fool? Well, I don't know. I checked my, my work boots and nothing was even sticking to it. So I, I don't I can't explain it. Do you think like it's a miracle from God, fool? Yes, I do, you know. I believe I was chosen by God to help people. Like last week, 
this one old man came to me in a wheelchair and he, and he asked me to heal his legs. So I put my hands on him and I said a prayer. Then he got up and walked. It was a miracle. But then he fell down some steps right after. And he's all messed up now. But at least he walked for a little bit. So that was pretty feed man right there. Is Manny for reals or a prophet? Or is he just some regular fool telling lies, fool? You decide to believe it or not.